10 things that depress me today. Number one, I realise that we might not get round to developing the technology with which to build affordable, commercial, personalised rocket packs within my lifetime, and it brought me crashing back down to earth. Number two, I thought that my credit card was going to get declined at the bar I was in. It didn't in the end, but there was a nasty moment there that I thought it might do, and it unsettled me. Number three, I got a particularly unimpressive toy in my Kinderick. It was an all-in-one moulded green thing. Was it a frog? Was it an alligator? Who knows? Number four, a pigeon flew at great speed into the glass wall of a bus shelter I was waiting at. It smacked into the wall with a huge thud, leaving behind it the outlined impression of an angel from its dusty wings. It dropped to the cold, unforgiving bathing slabs, fumbled around on the ground for a while before cooing its final screeching death rattle and dying right in front of me. Number five, I read the news. Well, I say red, I glanced at some headlines. Well, I say headlines, I went on Facebook to look at pictures of my ex and I ended up reading all the articles that my friends had posted about the horrific state of the world and I began to worry about how socially, economically, ecologically, financially and morally fucked we all are. And I just felt helpless at all the injustice there is in the world and how the bad guys just seem to keep on winning like there was nothing I could do about it, that my voice was small and weak and everything was so futile and now we're all just specks of dust in this ever-expanding cosmos as we travel through space and time, by which point I had completely lost my erection. Number six, I made an obviously ironic joke riffing on my ineffectual ability to satisfy a woman in bed in order to ingratiate myself upon a large group of burly men and it tragically backfired. I now have a new nickname. Number seven, I went to buy some trousers, but the size I picked up, which was the size of the trousers I was already wearing, didn't fit. I know they say that the size of the trouser is standardised, but they're so different from shop to shop, and I already feel old and decrepit and out of touch with society. Eventually a member of staff knocked on the curtain to see if I was okay, but by that point I was so far over the edge that I'd completely given up on the idea of buying trousers altogether. What was I thinking? Number eight, Hayley Joel Osmond. What's going on there? Number nine, I mispronounced the word posterity for prosperity. I noticed the mistake straight away, obviously, but before I had a chance to correct myself, the person I was talking to began to take the piss out of me like I wasn't as good as them. I managed to make it work in the context of what I was saying, but that doesn't matter. It is now some 72 hours later and after several sleepless nights, I still find my misspoken words pummeling round and round my head like a ball of wet socks and a steel tombola. Nobody but nobody keeps a record of every film they've ever seen for prosperity's sake. It is literally worthless. Oh yeah, and number 10, I remember that you're probably not coming back. Good luck.